In this video, I'll share four guaranteed methods for hacking Wi-Fi, starting with the man-in-the-middle attack. Think of it as sitting between two people having a conversation, but they have no idea you're there. You're intercepting data between someone's device and the router. Using Kaylee Linux and BetterCap, you can turn yourself into the middleman. With this command, you start BetterCap to watch network traffic. Then, you'll want to find devices on the network using another command. The sneaky part comes next with ARP spoofing. And just like that, you're in the middle, intercepting all traffic between the device and the router. It's like grabbing someone's mail, reading it, and putting it back without them ever knowing. Now, what exactly is ARP spoofing? ARP is like a phone book for your network. It links an IP address, which is like a phone number, to a device's MAC address, which is like the phone itself. ARP spoofing tricks devices into thinking you're the router, so they send all their traffic to you. To make this happen, you need to enable IP forwarding on your machine with this command, and then start ARP spoofing with another. At this point, you've just tricked both the router and the victim into thinking you're the trustworthy middleman. Now that you're in the middle, let's have some real fun with DNS spoofing. If ARP is the phone book DNS or domain name system, is the internet's address book. When someone types in a website, DNS translates that into an IP address to help their device find the website. DNS spoofing is when you hand them the wrong address. Instead of going to their bank's website, they end up on your fake version of the site. With BetterCap, you can run a command to start DNS spoofing and then set your own malicious domain and IP address. You've just redirected someone to your fake website where you can harvest their data. Or if you're feeling particularly mischievous, you could just rickroll them. Next up, we've got the evil twin attack. It sounds intense, but it's really about tricking people into connecting to a fake Wi-Fi network that looks exactly like the real one. Imagine setting up a Wi-Fi network called Free Coffee Wi-Fi and watching as people connect to it, completely unaware that they're connecting to a hacker. You can create this fake network using a command, and once it's up, the unsuspecting public might connect to it thinking they've struck Wi-Fi gold. But instead, they're sending all their traffic through you. Hackers at lower levels might just log the traffic, but more advanced ones will inject malicious scripts or steal credentials. Now onto cracking Wi-Fi passwords. The goal here is to capture something called the four-way handshake. It's a piece of data that gets exchanged between a device and a Wi-Fi router when they connect. You can capture this handshake using a command from the Aircrack NG suite. Once you've got that, the next step is password guessing. This is like repeatedly trying to guess someone's password until you get it right. With a word list and a command, you can attempt to crack the password. If they used something simple like, I love cats, you'll be in quickly. But if they've got something more complex, you might need to settle in with another coffee and keep trying. Finally, let's talk about how to protect yourself. First, use a strong Wi-Fi password. Second, use a VPN. A VPN encrypts your traffic, so even if someone intercepts it, they won't be able to read it. And if you're setting up public Wi-Fi, make sure you're using WPA3 encryption. 